The quickest way to get a feel for working in Jamovi is to use the built-in sample data. To get to that data, come up to these three lines to open up the menu and come down to Open. The one you want is this one, Data Library, and it comes with four data sets that are ready for you to work with. The first one is Big Five now. If you're from social and personality psychology like I am, these are the Big Five personality characteristics that have to do with neuroticism, extroversion, openness to experience, agreeableness, and conscientiousness. Each of these is supposed to represent a separate personality factor, and so there aren't really strong correlations between them. But this is a correlational data set where you can look at since scatter plots and regression analyses between these. You can also look at tooth growth and bugs. These are two different data sets for the analysis of variance. Tooth growth lets you look at a between samples experiment where you're looking at two different kinds of vitamin C supplements at three different doses on the growth of, I think it's guinea pigs. And the second one, bugs, is a repeated measures or within subjects analysis of variance where you can look at how revulsive people find particular insects, at least when they imagine them. And the last one is Anderson's iris data, also known as Fisher's iris data. And this is a very common data set that looks at the measurements of the sepal and petal of three different species of iris. And this is often used for demonstrating clustering, and I'll use it as an example several times through. But any of these four data sets is going to be a great way to get started with the functions of Jamobi, looking at what kinds of descriptive statistics and what kinds of graphs you can get, what kinds of modeling you can create. And that'll get you started on getting ready to get insight out of your own data.